I want to bring in Sarah Rasek, graduate student at the U of T and spokesperson for the encampment. Sarah, good morning. You and I spoke last night. We were talking about the 8 a.m. deadline. That has now come and gone. What's the plan now? Right. So the judge actually postponed the hearing of the injunction until tomorrow. We do owe this to community. The OFL led a rally with us earlier this morning where we had hundreds of workers come out. The OFL, of course, that represents over a million workers, 54 unions. Um, it, it shows admin that the people are on our side. Uh, we have another meeting uh, scheduled with administration at 5 p.m. And we are hoping to continue negotiation with them at that time. How are negotiations going? What, do you, what can you tell us about the latest? Right. So we are continuing to negotiate in good faith. Uh, while another meeting has been set for 5 p.m., we continue to face mounting pressure from admin um, to clear the encampment. They obviously want us gone. They refused to extend the trespass notice deadline, and uh, they will be filing their injunction in the Ontario Superior Court tomorrow, which will give them the cover that they need for TPS to do their dirty work. Um, last night in Rafa, there were escalations of what has already been happening in Gaza and the West Bank. This is why we have no choice but to continue negotiating until all of our demands are met. We are not interested in committees. We are interested in commitments, and we will continue to hold our ground and take up space until our demands are fully met. Okay, so the university proposing committee, uh, a committee to work through the issues, why is this not an option for you? We've been down this road before. Uh, in 2016, after a student-led committee recommended UFT divest from fossil fuels, UFT president's, uh, UFT's president, Mayor Gertler, publicly rejected the committee's recommendation to divest. We don't want a committee that is stacked by the president. Uh, students have gone through the appropriate bureaucratic procedures in the past, these slow bureaucratic procedures, and still UFT admin has said no to their recommendations. And so these are the same processes, the same committees, the same procedures that are being proposed by the same administration. Six years after publicly rejecting the committee's recommendation for fossil fuel divestment, UFT finally publicly committed to doing so. But the difference here is that there is an ongoing genocide. There are people being murdered right now, over 40,000 Palestinians. We do not have six years on our side. What is the mood at the camp right now? Well, we are uh, frustrated at the fact that our demands uh, still have not been met. We are frustrated at the fact that the university instead intends to continue um, uh, intends to continue to go ahead and file their injunction. The trespass notice remains. Um, that being said, we are uh, also um, uh, we are also sad right now because of the news that has come from Rafa. And so while we are thinking about the Palestinian people and their suffering, uh, we will remain steadfast in our demands and we do not intend to leave until the demands are fully met. Sarah, thanks again for speaking with us. Sarah Rasik is a graduate student at the U of T.